Yeah, yeah, there's nowhere to hide. That's why I love the store so much. Yeah. Because there's so many places to hide. But the store has that little problem with the OR. Like when you right before you're about to go on stage and you're in the hallway and Yeah, I don't like the hallway. But I like those seats on uh, against the back. Yes. Like just for comics that you can yeah. kind of sit there and go over your notes and people yeah. leave you alone. I, I love that back bar. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That back bar is my favorite. The back bar is the shit. The the secret comedians bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean that's just what they've done in the new this new generation of managers and the people that run the place now, they've sort of like really paid attention to like what what's going to make these guys happier what's going to make this better like you got to give them a place where they can hide so give them that back bar and you go to the back bar any day it's filled with people just hanging out talking shit and like it's fun it's like a fun play i go there i gravitate Mm -hmm. and i I get into the back area i'm like oh look at all these cool people yeah this is a great spot to hang out in yeah Yeah, they did that. They added security. They did it so it's it's night and day to the way it used to be. Oh, I never used to go there. I didn't like hanging out there. I didn't like any part of it. And then once uh, once the new management took over, I was like, oh great! Like I once did a show there. I did a benefit. There was like a kid who died. I forget his name. He was a comic uh, who died in a car accident, and they had like a benefit for his family. Oh yeah, that's Josh Adam Meyer's friend, Angelo. Angelo and- yeah. Yeah, Bowers, Angel- Angelo, Angelo Bowers. Bowers. I did not know him. I didn't know him either. But uh, Bice, he was like a fan of mine, and I was like, I was like the, his favorite comic that they could get. Uh, and I'm like, on the, I'm on the marquee. It's a sold out show. I have a great set. I walk off, and Tommy comes up, and he's like, uh, the old manager's like, Anthony, that was great, man. We got, we got to get you around here. You got, you got to start hanging out. You know, you got to start hanging out and doing, you know, do, doing the open mic and stuff. And I'm like, doing Tommy, open mic. my name is on the marquee right now. You just watched me headline this show. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> And I then the, I I don't think I ever saw him again. Good. Next thing I knew, he was fired, and they were like, "What can we do to to get you back here?" Wow. I love it. Well, that's Adam. You know, right? Adam yeah. did that, the same thing to me. He t- he told me that Tommy got fired and came to visit me at the Improv. So you were gone seven years. Seven years from the store. Yeah. And then when Tommy left, they brought you back in. Yeah. Well, there's two reasons. Um, one, I had to go physically to the store because Ari was filming his Comedy Central special, and is like. That he's a, you know, Ari's just one of my best friends. And I knew him from the time he was a doorman. And I knew that him filming his special there was so important. And there was no way I was going to miss it. I was like, I have to be here. Like, I have to see this at the store. So I was like, ah, fuck. All right, I got to go back. And so I decided to go back. I think he was filming on a Wednesday. What what night is uh, Gross Battles on Tuesday, right? So I went down there on a Tuesday. I said, let me go down on Tuesday just to see what's up. And I went to Roast Battle, and I was like, holy shit, this place is electric. This is crazy. Like, the environment is so much different. It's so creative. And the, the, the night that I was at Roast Battle was fucking fantastic. It was so good. There was so many funny roasters. And I remember thinking, wow, this place is just different, man. It just feels so much different. And it wasn't like it is now. Like, now, like, you'll go on a Saturday night, they'll have six sold-out shows. Mm -hmm. They have two shows in the belly room, two in the OR, two in the main room. Everything sold out and packed with headliners, and it's chaos. It wasn't like that. It was still sort of shitty, like, in terms of, like, the numbers. But the vibe and the creativity was way different. And the new guys and girls that were coming up, they were fucking good, man. I was like, wow, this is a different vibe. I had been gone for almost a decade. Yeah. So that brought me in. And like I said, I had to be there for Ari. There was no way. Like, I, I, there was no way I could miss it. I had to be there. So I'm like, all right, I just got to swallow it. And that was probably what Adam for sure helped, but I might have stayed away forever if it wasn't for Ari. I just I had to see it. 